What's going on, everybody? It is currently 3.30 a.m. You know how I roll. We got to stay up for these patch notes. <laughs> Let me know if anyone else uh, is a night owl down there and uh, loves staying up. I mean, I do like it, but sometimes it gets a little late. You know, I could just like fall asleep on the floor over here. <laughs> but uh, we're going to dive into the patch notes. And before we do, I actually noticed something. Uh, this may be due to them being on a holiday. I forgot what they mentioned that they're on the holiday for, but typically we get the patch notes dropped by a specific moderator or an admin. Um, and you can see here, we actually have it done by the e helper bot. So we'll see. And we do have a few things to go over. It's probably going to be a pretty light one, but uh, well, let's see what we got. So new recruitment event for Aries, Omar and Falvia. Immediately, I would say pass on this one, unless you didn't recruit Ares before, maybe go for one copy, but you should have had Ares if you've been playing for what, close to like a month and a half, two months. And he's really not that insane. He is one of, if not the best Vanguard. I, I, I personally would put him in the best Vanguard tier, but uh, that doesn't really say much because the Vanguards are pretty mediocre. And more importantly, well, we have the collab events going on. And if Northion is any example, they are not afraid of not turning triple S's. So if anything, you really want to pick up those collab recruitment characters because they probably will not come back. So you do really want to be able to have enough summons to pick up both triple S copies next week. We have a new giant tower event for Ares. Once again, yes, these events collabing with the hero rally event as well are all very good and well this also means that summoning for your kusanagi and your batu is even better now because of the hero rally event i was not sure if they were going to do this but generally speaking you just want to wait as long as you possibly can and guess what now if you do summon for kusanagi or batu and you hadn't already well 80 summons is a perfect amount to get the gene hybrid and then you'll also be able to pick up the one copy of Ares from the giant tower event which is going to be really quite nice actually and if you decide to go for way more you have the hero rally event available to you a quantum machine for uh on poo copies and the ruler's ring both very very solid and then lastly we have the event duration for chapter three so chapter three ghost in the shell collaboration event will open on all servers and it's going to be starting october 5th for NA server. So for me, it's going to be starting tomorrow um, on NA servers. And well, I look forward to it, even though it's going to be like two minutes of content and I'm going to be done directly after that. Pretty light patch here, to be honest. Um, I did not think it was going to be a big one. I knew they were on vacation. So the developers are like on holiday right now. That's fine. I totally respect, you know, whatever, um, cultural holidays going on. I believe it's something significant to, you know, kind of the people over there and that's totally fine. On the other hand, they did drop like the biggest event possible and it's like zero content. And then because of the lack of Twilight Lands and the fact that the collab event was kind of a disappointment, I would say a big disappointment for the majority of the community. The fact that we're getting light patches on top of it all is like an extra nail in the coffin right again it's not the developer's fault necessarily right we don't know what was going on behind the scenes but what i will say is the direction towards this game is huh well, i would say a little bit disappointing for most people again i don't put too much stock in this update in particular usually we have a big update then a small update then a big update then a small update and that's just generally the, the kind of position and this is the small update point. So realistically, we're gonna have to check in next week, but I do worry that next week is just basically gonna be the same thing, except instead of Ares, it's gonna be a new character. And instead of the giant tower and hero rally, it's gonna be, you know, uh, the new collab recruitment event. And we already got chapter three. So is there anything else in addition to the event? Let me check actually, it just re daily reset just happened for us. Um, I don't believe that they talked about any other Thing going on besides like chapter three if i'm not mistaken so like we have chapter one chapter two you get the clearance reward as you can see in the bottom left eight of uh, 15 so maybe they're going to do two more chapters but i guess we have like the guild boss changes which are going to happen 
after we kill it but that's not really insane new content so i i think we're kind of done with the event i don't think anything new is coming and that kind of worries me for the next couple of weeks for the game because basically for the next 21 days we're not getting any updates we're just going to be stuck with the collab event and for most people that's going to be a pretty big disappointment and then my my biggest hope to be honest for this next update has got to be twilight lands if they just add twilight lands next week i feel like a lot of the negativity surrounding this collab event is going to go away yeah they delayed it but at least we get it unfortunately what i think is going to happen is we're not going to get twilight lands until this event is completely over and that feels pretty bad because I know for myself, I, I'm actually starting to really feel it now because I generally like schedule like, okay, I'm going to get a hyper mutation uh, or a hyper evolve next, you know, couple weeks or whatever. And I'm like, okay, boom, I can do this one now because I'm going to know I'm going to get one uh, in a couple weeks from now. And I'm sitting on like a bunch of characters that I love to hyper evolve, right? Characters like um, Fiona, Doralee, right? I love to hyper evolve these guys, Reseris, Teresh even Kusanagi, as well as Sif eventually, right? These characters I'm really looking forward to hyper evolving. And now I'm gonna have to wait even longer. Eh, feels pretty, pretty bad. Um, on the other hand, at least they're giving us weekly updates, trying to remain a little bit positive here. Uh, I am not quite as doom and gloom as a lot of you out there, but I do feel like you all have very valid criticisms and I am a little bit disappointed overall. So not a big one but at least they're still updating i guess you could say i mean if you want to consider this an update what i will say is now's the time to summon for kusanagi as well as batu because of the hero rally event and the giant tower event i already mentioned before that you're going to want to pick up a single copy of both of them and well as soon as the event drops that is when you're going to want to summon i personally have already summoned for them because well i was looking to test them out for you all so the goal here for summoning is go 80 summons and that is just to get the gene hybrid and to make sure you get kusanagi right if you don't get kusanagi within your 80 summons guess what you're gonna have to go to 120 and in order to get your copy of kusanagi which is pretty unfortunate but at least you're gonna be able to get a copy of aries alongside it and maybe some free rewards from the hero rally event so there's your light in the darkness <laughs> Let me know what you all think about this and whether or not you are kind of just sitting and waiting for the next patch or I guess maybe you're excited about the new chapter of story. Is the story good? I don't know. Is anyone actually playing through the story? Let me know in the comments if you're someone uh, who's playing through the story because I, I skip. I'm just totally not interested in it, but maybe someone out there is is actually interested. In it. I'm, I'm more interested in actually the, uh, the gameplay and stuff, but thanks for watching everyone. See you for the next one.